Okay. <clears throat> Now back to call. They have one game to their name. Is this, it's this one, huh? Yeah, it's this one and the prequel. And that's all they have. Nice. Yeah. All right. All right, so... Enter the mansion. May, may, oh. You're just gonna go straight in? Produced by no vectical. <clears throat> there is a house. Oh my gosh, I have one too. That old appears before, before you. 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 You, yeah. Capitalized. <laughs> Can you hear lyrics right now? Yeah, without realizing okay. it. You instinctively accept as true the events unfolding before you. You! You have to say it with the, like that. You! It yeah, emphasizes it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the house lives in perpetuity. An amalgam of myriad fates and generations. No one knows who first said. Good music. Spit it out, bro. Yeah, it is. Speak your <laughs> truth that the mansion was cursed. Ooh. Um, the music in this game is in Portuguese, by the way, if you're wondering. Archangel to Michael. So I know the stream isn't late. What are you seeing right now? Uh, train. Oh, okay. The house in Fata Morgana. Very cool. Ooh, and I think I I think I synced the OST just right. Since I can't hear what you're actually hearing, I think I synced the opening just right. On my end. saying that I wonder why they would say that or if anyone's saying that I'm just I was looking down going around in circles oh. oh yeah that's how you save I was looking down upon a corpse my own corpse I was afflicted with great despair at the sight of it being dragged to the place of my crucifixion my soul crumbled and I was wholly extinguished indeed I did once lose everything However, as I faded into darkness everlasting, I heard a voice calling out to me. So, I thought once more, that no matter how long it may take, I'll grit the obstacles that stand in my way. What form you may assume, I shall come back for you. 
that I must return to that house. So I ask of you, please wait until this mutilated body arrives there once more. Dude, I just realized, like, never mind, I'm not going to say anything. Your consciousness, wa wavering like a ship at sea, was slowly drawn back to the surface. Tur, with each new breath, feeling gradually returned to your, to your fingers. Master, you could hear the pattering of rain from somewhere. Master, and the sound of a crackling fire. Wake up, master. Creak, creak, creak. Wake up. When you came to, you were rocking back and forth in a rocking chair. The, the room was dimly lit. Aside from the flickering of the fireplace, there was no other illumination. No light shone through the closed windows. There was only the pitter-patter of rain on the glass. It was as though the whole mansion had been developed in darkness. Oh, splendid. You have finally awoken. Someone called out to you. You're you finally awake. You are about to... T <laughs> <laughs> trying to cross the border, like that thief over there. But that turned out to be unnecessary. The source of the voice was crouching beside the chair, looking up at you with emerald... At you, with emerald eyes. You! Female woman. Good morning. He needs that vitamin D. Yeah, for, for real, for real. Vampire? Yeah, go, go on a walk. <laughs> Vampire? Vampire? <laughs> good morning. Uh-oh. Dot dot She's dot, right. dot 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 Oh, I'll say good morning. Hee hee, what is the matter? Are you still waking up? You seem rather drowsy. Wait, 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 what did you, you pick? gather yourself. I said good morning. I did. Oh, okay, good. Though I am glad to hear your voice. I have simply been waiting so long for this moment. Tending to the mansion all by my lonesome, ensuring it was ready for your return. Whenever that time may be. <laughs> When I caught sight of you through the window, my heart fluttered. The time had finally arrived. You were perplexed. This woman, who looked like a maid, seemed to know you, but you had no memory of her. I a don't. Tea. Would <laughs> would you like to start your day with? Mm, chamomile. Mm, chamomile tea. Chamomile. Mm, a little spot of sleep. chamomile tea, if you would like. Or perhaps a taste of change since we last met. <laughs> Tell me, Master, what would you like? <laughs> I beg your pardon. I allowed myself to get yeah, you have to do the hee hee hee, Liam. I'm not. Very but I hope you will be sympathetic, Master. I'm just utterly elated that I can see you again. Hold on. Something happened? So I have blood. Uh, the woman appeared to be genuinely delighted that you had awoken, but she seemed to lack the energy typical of her age. Because she's a thousand years old. Or perhaps life was more appropriate a word than energy. But the gloom extended beyond the maid. It seemed to encompass the entire mansion. The plaster walls illuminated wait, wait. by the fireplace and the rose engravings and the ebony pillars felt vaguely familiar. But a crushing sense of claustrophobia overpowered that familiarity. It seemed as though the house wasn't interested in accepting you just yet. Oh my, you do not know who I am? Do you not know who you are either? That is quite the predicament. If you cannot remember who you are, then who am I to serve? The woman's face was pale, almost as though she died. A faint chill red turn your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> you are already the, assuming things. <laughs> you are the master of this house. Though it seemed like you have no, you seem you have no memories of such. Quite the dilemma. If you know not who you are, then you are no different than a stranger to me. No. Indeed, you have returned, but from where? That I cannot say. A little water. And then how about this? Hydrate. I'm a servant of this mansion, and as such, it's time to drink water. I'm familiar with the many incidents that have taken place here. You should I ask her for some water. The history of this house, Master. Uh. Oh, maid, please fetch me a glass, a cool glass of water. Fetch me, a, fetch me a cool glass of filtered alkaline water. Filtered alkaline water from a bri a bria, a brita, yeah, filter. That will surely allow you to recall who you are. The freshly awakened gears in your head, your head, begin to turn as you mold things over. 
the, the maid had called you the master of this house. But without a single mirror in the room, you had, you had no way of seeing what you looked like. Unable to decide, you reflexively, you reflexively nodded. Let us be off, then. And fear not, I merely entreat you not to let go of my hand. Should you hold it tightly, you need not worry about being washed away by the waves of, his ways of history. No matter what happens, you mustn't let go of my hand. We're teleporting. Your hand in hers, you followed the maid's lead through the hall. The air within the mansion was oppressive, as though a black miasma hovered within. The house is bleak. Teleporting barren. at the speed of walking. <laughs> Hardly a trace of color to be found. You came across an open window. Beyond it lay nothing but darkness. Neither sunlight nor moonlight could be seen. Pitch blackness. We're in a purgatory. There were no chirping birds, no rustling grass, or no signs of life at all. Everything that would normally give color to the world had vanished entirely. The only other presence was that of the maid. Following her lead, he proceeded through the mansion. Wait, hold up. I think it's really cool how they, how all the backgrounds look like, um, like really old paintings, you know? Yeah. Like really like washed out paintings and stuff. I think yeah. that's cool. After some time, you arrived at a double door. The glass within shattered. The door, once pure white, had long since faded into a dull gray. It appeared to lead to the backyard. You could hear children laughing on the other side. Though it is in a state, you now see it. A beautiful, beautiful garden once lay beyond these doors. The owner of the time enjoying enjoyed the gathering rare what? The owner of the time enjoyed gathering rare species of rose from all across the world. She forgot a comma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Work on your punctuation. At its yeah. grandest, it seemed every flower was in constant competition for the most majestic bloom. Would you like to see this wonderful era of splendor and prosperity? He 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 he. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. Oh my goodness. No, I just yeah, need to take a little, ahead, little piss. Go ahead. I'm back. I figured I'd just use my pants. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Alright, next slide. I very much hope it is to your liking. <laughs> next slide. <laughs> <laughs> this, game, this, this, is made, this is made with macros on PowerPoint. Yeah, this is made on Excel. Yeah. The, uh, the maid opened the doors to the back garden. A sudden gust of wind brushed across your face, forcing you to close your eyes as you followed the maid out the doors. When you next opened your eyes, the world was no longer blanketed in shadow. Shadows. I was teleported into another world, a world of beauty. Going into the rose garden right now. The first door. 1603? Hmm. Hmm. The year, perhaps? Move the cursor no, to the, the... bottom right of the score. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you should you should you should save just in case you make a wrong decision. I'm I'm, like gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna play it as it is. I'm just gonna play it as I go. Bro, dude, it 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 would literally like egg you on for so long before you make the decision. They make the worst decision ever, and then you have to go back hours. That's funny. That's why it gives you so many save slots. The mansion had an alluring air of beauty about it in that era. It was almost like something out of a fairy tale. This period of history could perhaps be described as a symphony of destruction, as cumbersome principles of old came crashing down. Freed from the day-to-day -day oppression of these antiquated precepts, the, old, the people seemed to hark back to the more poetic, expressive ways of the old. They took these newly blossoming emotions in hand, and with them they wrote literature, painted portraits, composed theater, and found love. Even the church, which had maintained authority throughout the Middle Ages, embraced the changing times, adopting a church's inspiring sense of aesthetic. War would break out at not 
not every 20 years from now, plucking the ripened era from the tree of history. That is no, of no concern to us now. At the time, it was still what people referred to as the Golden Age, a period, a period of fur uh, for all those who were there. Is Guts here? Golden Age? Griffith? Golden Age arc? Casca? Yeah. Where is he, dude? Where, where are they? <laughs> now let us take yeah. a slight detour. You know this game's actually historically accurate, other than the characters, it's like historically accurate. Nice. To, like, yeah. No, we, this is like a note from the narrator. No, we will not be changing locations. This is a tale that the man oh. from beginning to end. It is, that, that's, that's because the maid is talking directly to yeah. you. Yeah. We will, however, be moving through time. Say, about eight years into the past. A very wealthy family lived in the house then. The mother and father, brother and sister, all had distinctive, beautiful flaxen hair. I was always enamored by their hair. By contrast, mine is the color of a wet girl. Go. Clean your hair. She yeah. doesn't wash her hair. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Just, See, <laughs> there I am. She, all she needs is five in one. Yeah. Looking rather a fool. I was happy back then, as opposed to now. Yeah. And then, She's <laughs> harassing me for being creepy. <laughs> and what reason did I not have to be? I <laughs> the opportunity to attend such a beautiful home. So I poured my heart into serving that family. Listen closely, if you would. That soft, fleeting sound that only that could only be a young girl singing. Can you hear it? No. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> the girl you see, carefully picking crimson roses and singing like a songbird, was called Nelly. Though Name young, Nelly. she sang with elegance. Nellie was deeply fond of the house's garden, and she would often spend her afternoons there. Gorgeous roses gathered from all across the world bloomed in the garden. They were given the utmost care, and even had their thorns removed. So young Nellie would not hurt herself naturally. The light brown-haired girl carefully plucked petals from the roses, gathering them up as she sang. Her voice okay, hold up. Like, do, you hear a really do you hear a really weird song right now? Uh, no. It's just kind of like... Well, it is weird, but it's like it fits like the tone. Is it? Is it? Is it sound like a child like humming something? Yeah, but it's it's got like an old okay, record okay. player like playing or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I remember when I played since I'm on like Linux. I like I I assumed that like the kind of static was like the emulator for Windows not working, but it was just the music. Yeah. Like that's on purpose. Her voice was like uh was like music played by fairies. Nay, the sight of her was like an angel descended from heaven. Oh dear, please don't look at me like that. I admit I was being rather fanciful. But what is a woman if not fanciful? Hee <laughs> hee. I still don't know why she said that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not- I didn't write this. Little bird, little bird, singing night and day. For your little birdie heart, sing your woes away. Pretty flowers all around, all around the little birds. And even when the sun comes up, uh... Oh Let's man, I forgot what comes next. Oh dear, smell. Yeah. Are you listening? Mel, huh? Mm. Individual. Nelly was, a ma as a matter of fact, not the only visitor to the Rose Garden that day. She Is always that <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's a prequel. She always yeah. kept her older brother Mel. Melina. The young siblings were inseparable. Oh my gosh. Mel ordered, adored his little sister, who in turn pined for his attention. The sight of the two innocent children cuddling together, not yet shackled by fear for the future, was truly heartwarming. That day, Mel was sitting in the shade of a tree, reading a book. As I am sure you are aware, in their time, books could not yet be mass-produced. What he was reading had been copied by a scribe. I presume he had bar borrowed it from the church. The book, having passed down through many hands over the many years, was visibly worn, but I suppose that just speaks to its importance. It was, in fact, a Latin grammar textbook he was reading. Mel was a clever boy. He had attended church from a very young age, where a priest would instruct him in Latin, Latin grammar. So at that Latino time, preach? I believe he was capable of reading even advanced texts. Oh, dearest Mel, please. Can he read the story he's in? <laughs> I don't know if he could. <laughs> the young girl approached her brother, who was consumed. You just gotta look down, like the text is right there. <laughs> it's right in front of you, dude. <laughs> it's right in front of you, bro. Your in whole fate lying right in front of you. Yeah. In her hands, she carried a large pile of rose petals. I read that as large pile of rocks. I don't know why. <laughs> the, <laughs> though his sister's shadow overlapped the trees, the boy still did not notice. So Nellie puffed up her cheeks, thrust out her slender arms, and let the petals fall. 
Oof! Ouch! Oof! Hee hee, look, your head is covered in roses, Mel. Oh, Nelly, you got petals on the book. This isn't mine, and I can't afford it to get let it get dirty. It isn't. It's your fault, dearest Mel. I tried to get your attention. And besides, flowers won't get a book dirty. I must raise the white flag. When did my little lady find herself such a sharp wit? While waiting for you, dearest Mel, I waited and waited, and you didn't so much as glance at me. I'll be an adult by the time you're done reading that book. Wow, that soon? That soon. Mother says girls grow up fast. Ha ah, she may be right. In that case, we should do something together before you're all are grown up. Surely you won't yeah. play with me any longer when you become an adult. That's not true. They're all, they're all gonna die of the plague at 25. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna die from. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll still play with you even when I'm grown up. But grown ups don't play, Nelly. Fine, I'll stay a child forever then. Didn't you just say you're about to grow up? Uh, you're so mean. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. Please don't pout, my little lady. How about this? To make it up to you, I'll play whatever you want today. Really? Do you mean it? I want to play make believe. I want to play pretend. <laughs> Make believe. <laughs> Make believe. I will be a princess taken captive by an eagle kingdom, and you, dearest Mel, will be my valiant knight. And then you turn into a prince when you rescue me. A knight can become a prince? Impressive. They can. Knights and princes both have to be charming, so of course they can. Which is why. Which is why you, it must be you, dearest Mel. No one else can be my prince or my knight. While he may have appeared outwardly embarrassed as his rose cheeked sister proclaimed prattlingly, I'm certain he was smiling on the inside. After a few moments, he meekly knelt, bringing himself to eye level with Nelly and gent gently stroking her soft hair. Alright then, you're my princess, Nelly. And not just anyone's princess, dear Mel, but yours, dearest Mel, but yours alone. Dude, the pros in, the, in this is so crazy. Yeah. Like the uh, so, um, don't be anyone else's princess but mine, okay? Nelly. Jeez, my princess is quite the fawner. Is that bad? Does that make you dislike me? Not at all. Yeah, Probably go away. Goes by. <laughs> You're obsessive. <laughs> You're obsessive. She, I, mean, she, I mean, she's kind of... Actually, no. I don't know. They're just, you know, they're just being siblings. Whatever. Uh, yeah, you're right. You mean more. You mean more to me than anything in the world, my dear princess. Hee <laughs> hee. I love you, dearest Mel. You'll always be my prince forever and ever. Her mood quite improved. Nelly began humming the melody of the song she had forgotten the lyrics to. Holding the skirt of her dress from her out from her body, the young girl pranced about the rose garden. Mel, his eyes on her back, gave a little shrug. Oh, Nelly, don't come crying to me if you trip running like that. But Mel was not entirely disapproving of her sister's ex excitement. Trips on a root. <laughs> he carefully <laughs> brushed aside the petals on his book, <laughs> set it in the shade of the tree, and began chasing after Nelly. They were picturesque siblings, brimming, brimming with hope. And at this True. time in their lives, there was nothing to jeopardize that hope. Would True. it not be wonderful if children could stay children forever, Master? As I see it, though, the pleasant, gentle times in our, life, in our lives have value because they come to an end. Wouldn't you agree? Time continues to flow, impartial and without exception. And as such, everyone's childhood comes to an end. Be that as it may, does time also flow at the same speed for each individual? He 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 he. What do you mean by that? Hmm? What do you mean by that? Hmm? What are you thinking? Uh, they're like vampires or something. Oh, you think she's a vampire? Or something like, or like something's going on. They, they gotta be like got. They got like some immortal thing going on or something. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, he he. Wait wait. wait. Like there, that's a big I implication there. It's a pretty obvious implication there. Yeah, she's being a bit weird. She's being a bit what sussy. You, sussy Yeah, what, what do you think her, like... The, the reason you're in this mansion right now is... Do you have any idea? Uh... You, you could just shoot in the dark. I think it's like... It's like the it's like the anchoring point for this individual's memories or something like that. And they're trying to bring him back. Or whoever this person is back. By, like, bringing... Like, the maid is like, is like somebody... Is like probably somebody from that person's past, and he's and is walking through, walking that person through um, their history in order to like. Do you think? Do you, and what do you think? Why do you think she want to do that? Because she definitely seems pretty sinister. Because that that seems like it'd be a good thing, you know. But then she's like, 
being well, really weird. I don't think she's like sinister. She's just like she's just like making light of like the truth, which is like probably like crazy. You know, it's probably like yeah, she's probably like a thousand year old vampires or something like that. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't know, but like, who knows? Maybe she's beneficial. I don't, I don't think she could be like a threat. I don't know. Anyway, now let's Just take a trip down the river of time. I would be very much delighted if we could <laughs> remain at this point in time, but unfortunately we cannot. Please do not let go of my hand, master. If I let go, do I just like die? Nasty. I've been the nasty girl. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, the drippy. Oh, bro, looks like he's from like uh, Seattle. Or wait, no, LA. I don't know. They the do gay not like that. They, he's from Atlanta. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Atlanta. He's <laughs> from Atlanta. I'll be on my way then. Oh, you usually stay for longer. Yes, I have an errand to run today. Thank you for your time, as always. This song, this song's really good. It is. It's crazy. Mm. Um, wait, wait. Which song is playing? Uh, is it like? Tell me the tune, because I'm like trying to match my OST with it, since I can't hear anything. You have like. Is it female... the same children? Like, no, you humming? have like a female vocalist and then a male vocalist, and you have like a piano sounding thing. And you say it sounds like you have like a lot of like bells in the back. Oh, is it like a bunch of like random like instruments and then some lady saying something randomly in between, kind of quickly? Yeah. yeah. You almost wait, like wait. Oops. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I know that one, dude. It's crazy. This song only gets better on loop. If I think I know the one you're talking about. Anyways, continue. I got my OST set up. Thank you for your time as always. Would you like the book back sometime next week? No. <coughs> Keep it. Next week or the week after. Hold on to it as long as you'd like. But surely you there the are others said. who'd want to say it. Who want to use it. None as sharp as you, Mel. Put yourself in my shoes and you'll understand. I want to give you any advantage you can get. Aha. Oh, do you not believe me? This is some good, this is some good music, bro. It is. The... the, the Many people say that the whoever composed the Fata Morgana soundtrack is probably like an angel. Whoever sang it is an angel. Kota Hoshino. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kota, Kota Hoshino singing oh, this right kidding, now. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. No, I believe you, Father. But you can't I wait to hear the song for like a few more hours. It's pretty good, so I'm not complaining. Yeah. And I mean to do whatever <laughs> I can to not disappoint you. That's the spirit. If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm proud to have you as my pupil. Ah, yes, and Mel, do consider what we're talking about. Going to university? Indeed. If you do, I can introduce you to some accomplished instructors. There is very little left for me to, to teach you, and I believe you would make a fine priest. I... It's an honorable thing, Mel, to devote yourself to the service of our Lord. Dot, 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 dot. I'll give it Actually, to you. Actually, I'm an atheist. Actually, I believe in Absolutely. that flying spaghetti monster. Yes. I'll give it some thought. If you'll excuse me then, I'll see you again. Our doors are always open. They should lock it at night. <laughs> Almost like sending a text. Oh. To me? Aww. I don't know you have my number. Wait, did it say how old Mel is right now? I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, Pharrell, no. He looks like he's older now, for sure. How old do you think he's right now? He's like, maybe 15. 14. No. Like, yeah, before he was like, maybe 11, 12. Whichever, yeah, whichever age you can be like the gay kid in high school. I'm not saying he's gay, I'm just saying he looks like it.
You there? Yeah, one second, sorry. What'd you say? Oh, I said he's whatever age, um, uh, you c when you can be the gay kid in high school. You get into sleepovers for free. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, it's so dreamy. Oh my yeah. gosh, my button knows. <laughs> I'm gonna pinch his cheeks. Alright, uh, whether it's in the service of God, <laughs> whether it's in the service of God or the service of the church, it is an honorable f profession. But theology? I wouldn't mind attending university, but I'm not sure. It's ki I'd kind of like to do something different, something more befitting of the times. As for what, though, I'm stumped. But I need to make up my mind soon. If I drag my feet for too long, even my father is liable to grow impatient. Bro, what you live in the 1600s. There's nothing new to do. <laughs> war. War. <laughs> it's all war, old. War. Go fight, bro. What, what if he's like 18 here and he just looks young because it's a Japanese game? Um, I think he's 17. Jeez. Right now. Alright, uh... Alright. I, I don't know, man. Mercy I don't me. remember. Young Sire. Blessed Young Sire. Alms. Alms for the poor. Ah. This beggar. If I'm not mistaken, he's been outside the church since last week. Alms. The way he shakes his head. I can get a glimpse of his forehead under his hood. He's completely bald. It's... Buy yourself some bread with this. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless your soul. Thank you. Thanks. The Lord. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, no. Nelly's going to be cross if I don't hurry home. Curses, and it looks like it's going to rain. Master. Master? Oh, thank goodness. You appear to have a firm grasp on your consciousness. I was afraid you had accidentally let go of my hand. Hee <laughs> hee. This is like a subtle... This is like a subtle, like, narrator thing. It's like... The narrator is like telling the, the, the player, like, like I, I almost thought you lost track of what I've, I've been writing this whole time. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't think you'd be used to like prose like this in a Japanese visual novel. I guess, yeah. Now, master, this is the period of time I truly wish to show you. The boy reading in the rose garden was now a fine young man. Nonetheless, he still bore the same gentle eyes Bye. and would time to time show remnants of that innocent young boy. He was, in his own mind, still making the transition into adulthood, I suspect. Mel frequently visited the church on Sundays to participate in Mass, of course, but more often to be tutored by the priest. In addition, he also attended a private school run by an eminent marquee. So it was not a, it's marquee? like a, not a lord, but like a... A rich guy? Yeah, like a rich dude who's been like appointed into a public position, oh. if I remember correctly. I see. I don't... So, like, all, this, the, the entire U.S. Senate? Uh, mm, not exactly. Because it's, like, royal. I think it has royal connotations. All right, anyway. Though oh. it was not a school <laughs> where students had desks and sat in rows, they studied at the Marquis' estate. Secondary and higher education was not the same as it is today. And Mel was considering university. The priest wanted to recruit him to the church, but Mel was having difficulty deciding what he should do. That he had such a, a choice is envious, is it not? Bro's was going to college for free, and he's like, I, I don't know what to do. Understandable, you know. N no, I mean, yeah. Good he just doesn't understand. <laughs> he can't see into the future how bad it's going to be. He's doing fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to pick up my order. Is it ready? Think, Mel, think. Aye, ready and waiting. Young Master Rhodes. Interesting. Mel Rhodes. Rhodes. Mel Rhodes. Oh, don't yeah. call me Young Master, please. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Can I seem to get me head out of the past? <laughs> You're under sight here, sir. Mel had stopped at a jewelry store in the center of town on his way back from the church. The building was both Black a beard. workshop and yeah, and a <laughs> storefront. And the nobles of the area were deeply fond, found fond of the master's wares. He was so skilled, even the royal family had commissioned work from him. As a matter of fact, the wooden sign out front was engraved with a replica of a piece of his jewelry said to be on display in the palace. And artist as artistry flourished in this golden, this golden age, the number of shops selling luxurious items such as jewelry rose in kind. However, the clientele of these shops comprised a very narrow range of people. If it's and the golden age, is he selling a bailiff? 
Dude, yeah, like <laughs> he's gonna get in there. He's gonna get in there. Yeah. He's gonna pick up a necklace and it's gonna. It's like yeah. it's like this grotesque necklace with a face. Yeah, yeah. Legend of Zelda looks over and he's like, "What's that strange necklace?" What's that strange necklace? So it's like it's, it, it, it see, the necklace seems to bear bear a mouth and eyes and a nose, all misshapen it's about the about, and it seems to be in the shape of an egg. It it seems to suddenly have moved, but I think I may be mistaken. I mean, I may be unright, uh, unwell right now. Jeez. May I have a look? <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, of course! Good. Oh, good. It came out just as I hoped. <laughs> he was mocking for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I afford to disappoint a loyal customer like yourself? An admirable, an admirable work ethic. I'm sure she'll love it. Such a kind, such a kind lad, young master. My boy back home could do well to learn a thing or two from ya. Every man ought to show so, show women some cordiality. Coming home to a cold fireplace is a sad thing indeed. <laughs> 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 All right. Um. Again, for my don't sister, call me young master. My apologies. I'll take this and be in my win then. Good day. And you'll find yourself in need of aught else. Just let me know. I can make any jewelry you ask for. Come to me, and your sweetheart's day will shoes be made. I kind of read that backwards. And I guarantee the two of you will have all sorts of fun when you give it to her. Her to For it give you. Yeah, I don't have rich. a sweetheart. Huh, well, ah, well, that's a surprise. I'm sure many girls are vying for your hand too, young Mr. Rhodes. A fine family, good looks, charming. And your future's all but. I, I'll be on my way then. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Good day, good day, come by anytime. Is he awkward or just busy? <laughs> Shouty awkward. <laughs> Shoddy awkward. <laughs> Goodness. Girl says she a lesbian. Me too. Well, maybe I'll say I want to study abroad or something. It's a Drake lyric. Oh, I don't listen to that pedophile. Patient oh yeah. Father, maybe that would, that. that would certainly anchor him, and I can hear it now. You're wasting your God-given talents, boy. I could renounce my name and rank, go somewhere far away. <laughs> that sounds like the kind of plan Nelly would come up, come up with. Go teleported. One second. I... text you're eating on the mic bro stop oh sorry i'm chowing down some succulent steak Damn. but i can't enjoy a succulent meal right now a succulent chinese meal a succulent chinese meal <laughs> <laughs> all right as he drew closer to the mansion the rich fragrance of roses grew more prominent over time this distinctive scent had led visitors to refer to the old to the house as rose manor it was also probably a play on a flaxen-haired family's next last name, Rhodes, which you heard the owner of the jewelry, so jewelry store say just moments earlier. The narrator is reminding the viewer what his name is. <laughs> the mansion looked quite different than it does now, no? It's because it doesn't display, so I don't yeah. know. Maybe, the, yeah. No thickets of ivy covering the walls, no rotten, broken doors to be found. I wonder what the Rhodes family would think if they saw the house in its present tragic condition. Wait, do you think the maid like pulled up a PowerPoint presentation and is like clicking through it like this? <laughs> to show yeah. It? <laughs> yeah, they're just they're just sitting in a room and Ma <laughs> Master, gotta, gotta do you remember it. this? <laughs> and yeah. she's like as a PowerPoint presentation. She's like, hold on, it's booting up. Yeah. It's like it's like Windows like XP or yeah. Windows Vista. The side of Windows the 8. Button, the blooming <laughs> roses, a veritable symbol of prosperity, long since withered and turned into soil. 
My apologies, I got a little sentimental there. Let us forget for a moment about our own time. I suppose I stayed out a little too long. Oh well, the sun still shines high in the sky. I'm sure it's... Attack! Ambush! Uh... Dearest, dearest Mel, what took you so long? Where have you been? I've been waiting forever. Nelly? You're not in the house. Nope, you were taking so long I decided to wait by the gate. But you didn't even notice me at all. Is it that any way to treat a lady? All that studying's got your head stuck up in the clouds. No, it hasn't really. Also, you're heavy. Could you please, like, could you please get off my back? Monkey on my back? Yeah. Big back. Heavy. Big back, Nelly. Oh, insulted. Heavy. I've been gradually reducing the amount of sweets I eat, and I love sweets to maintain my figure for a new dress. And you call me heavy? Uh, I didn't catch that. Were you saying a tongue twister? You're such a dimwit, Mel. Jerk, blockhead, weakling. Ooh. Fact. Not I'm just really, <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. She's right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Griffin, um, Call of Duty moments. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And obnoxious to boot. Whatever happened to the delightful little girl who was once my sister? She'd probably throw a fit if I said that out loud. Just look, at, just look at Nelly. Like she does not look pleasant. <laughs> she's just pouty, you know. Yeah, but she's like a teenager. Should you really be outside, Nelly? Should you really be <laughs> You are the star of today's <laughs> event. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. It's fine. They can call it what they want but I know it's just about fraternizing. It's obvious what, fra what father's, capital father's, true motives are. Uh, excuse me. You'll be gathering a bunch of boys from good families to look for someone to marry me off to. Ugh! I have no interest in that at all. Don't be like Cry me a river. They're all here for you. At least enjoy what you can of the party. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, and besides, it's not completely terrible. Look at this, dearest Mel. What do you think? What do I think? About what? About what? Me! Oh, Mel! Okay. Mel! <laughs> M-E-L-O. -L. Mel! Uh, Mel! Bastard. <laughs> My new dress, it's arrived, I'm wearing it! Wait, wait, wait a second. How when, the, when, the first, when the first M and E showed up, I thought it said MF. <laughs> 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 this mother... <laughs> How could you not notice? I, I did notice, it was something I hadn't seen before, but you have so many dresses in LA, so... <laughs> this, it, this is the dress I made, I had made just for today. Look at the colors, they're so pretty. It's the work of a renowned dyer. And this belt is just lovely. He you died see for how this. It comes? <laughs> <laughs> you see how it comes? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just absolutely in love with it. I think I'll be wearing this dress for a while to come. So tell me, what do you think? Does it look good on me? You look like ass! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, it does. Come on, give me uh, give me that answer. Give me that choice. I need to be able to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take away control from the player. Yeah. This is a bad game. Bad game. Hee hee hee. In some ways, I guess you're still just a delightful little girl. Oh, dearest Mel, I love you. Punches him Lose in the face. You. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, don't jump on me like that. Ah! Oh my, you dropped something. And what have we here? Wait, hold on. No, you can't have that yet. Is it a present? G give it back. I was gonna give you that. I was gonna give that to you later. I knew it. It's for me. And just what could it be? A beautiful hey. red egg decoration. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful red egg necklace with a face on yeah. it. Yeah. With the eyes. It's got eyes. Look, it's a cool party trick. Hey, don't open it. Yeah. 
What's the big deal? It's gonna be mine soon anyway, isn't it? Oh, I love it. A rose necklace. And this design is from the jeweler the royal, royal family uses. Oh, my dearest Mel. You have this made just for me. Oh, jeez. It defeats the purpose of you open it before the party. Happiness is always better sooner rather than later, Mel. I think I'll put it on right away. She would definitely do fat in modern day. <laughs> there, how does it look? <laughs> it looks lovely. <laughs> My prince is still the sweetest in all the land. D don't make smash. My prince is just always- cut. Wait, wait, hold up. Just end it. What do you mean? Wait, is this live? Yeah. Just... Oh, I'll just edit it out. I'll just edit it out. Don't no, worry. I mean, is it live? Or like- No, it's, it, it's recording. Oh, it's a VOD? Okay. Yeah. Okay, because oh. I think I might have also said it earlier. No, I have to go back and edit it and re 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 render the whole thing. <laughs> no, but yeah. why not? A prince always knows exactly what his princess wants, and this princess wanted some rose jewelry to go with her new dress. Hold up. Just end and yeah. If there's like a minor cut of 30 seconds, it really doesn't matter. So what do you think about like Nelly and Mill so far? Uh, and how do you think it might relate to the broader what's going on right now? This is you. This is the maid. I'm just kidding. Let's I don't know. I'm going to take a quick little pisser. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. You back below? Yo. Blah. Plug. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Princess, are you back? Hello? Yes, yes. I, I've been I've been here, just staring. Alright. Drinking water. One second. And this princess wanted some rose jewelry to go with her new dress. Understand? <laughs> Geez, I sure don't have it easy playing with your prince. Playing your prince, Nelly. I'm, it might be about time you found a new one. 
I think they're a little prince. bit too old for this. Yeah. A prince is a prince because you can't just find one standing on the street corner. If you want to retire, dear, dearest Mel, you're going to have to wait another 10 years. That's a long time. Or if you find yourself a new prince, it's not long at all, trust me. The time is going faster. Or if you find yourself a new princess. Have I... you heard of the maid, Nelly? What? Nothing. What just say? the implication that she's very old. Bro. What? I'm, I'm spoiling your... I'm just kidding. I'm not! She literally... It's, it's very... It's implied. Yeah. I'm not saying she is or not. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm not so... Hee hmm. hee, you're about as romantic as a rock, dear Snell. But worry not, your adorable sister will always be your princess. What more could you want? Are you really allowed to be the judge of that? I mean, more to you than any other girl in the world, do I not? Then that makes me your perfect princess. Haha. <laughs> 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 this is funny. Hey, bro, it's like, laughing it'll all be over soon. Laughing it'll all be over soon, laugh. You're always telling me I mean more than anyone to you. Yes, you do. More than anyone in the world, my beloved baby sister. Hee hee. Hee 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 hee. <laughs> no, 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 thoughts are all like, please let this end right now. I'm about to crash out. I, I don't know, I mean, I don't know. He, he doesn't seem very receptive to it. What do you think? Well, he's just getting older, and he's like, he's got his, he's like, he has amb his ambitions and future on his mind. Yeah, so, so I mean, Nelly's like, kind of stuck in the past, it seems. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take good care of the necklace. Thank you, my dearest Mel. Well, if you're happy with it, then so am I. You're very welcome. Now back into the house with you. A fighter! A fighter! A fighter! <laughs> a fighter! You can't have a party without the guests of honor. Do you know if anyone is here yet? Mm, nope. I imagine they'll be here soon, though. Yeah, excuse me. Were you down at the church again today, Mel? <laughs> yeah, there was something I didn't know how to translate, so I went to look it up. Excuse wow, me, so diligent. I can't say I really like the priest here personally. There, personally. Actually, I kind of feel the same way. What? Really? Well, you know, I have my reasons. Hmm. <coughs> so even you don't always like the priest, huh? Let's get mass on Sunday then. No! 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 We're going to mass. We can go play. You're stuck in the past. No skipping church. Yeah. Boom! That's good. Good. No skipping church. Based. What a valiant young man. As grew the brother, so too did the sister. That day. I like how they... I'm so, it's funny because they were talking about how uh, girls grow up fast, right? And then he ended yeah. up being more mature than she is. Yeah, and she's like stuck like 10 years in the past. Or whatever, however long it's been. Anyways, if you scroll up the, with the mouse wheel, you can see anything you missed if you actually skip it. One second. Or if you just scroll up and does, you don't have to use the mouse wheel. <sighs> okay, and as grew the brothers to two, the sister. That day, Nellie would be turning 14, and Mel, uh, three years, her senior was 17. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense, but still. Wait, 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 wait a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay. How old was she? Was she in the first scene? Like, six, five, four? I don't even know. You saw it with your own eyes, so you know just how much she has changed. <laughs> she was always a cute little girl, and she grew into an even more beautiful young woman. Though she was only 14, she was well on her way to becoming a fine lady. As for her character, well, hee hee hee. But a girl like that has her own charms, would you not say? Drifting down the river of time, the two siblings matured into healthy young adults, but the core of the relationship did not change in the slightest. Nelly was very much attached to her brother, and as much as Mel complained, he still cared deeply for his sister. Around the time the sun began to set, carriages started lining up outside as well-dressed aristocrats made their way into the house. As Nelly had suspected, the majority of them were boys. Yes, I understand. You don't need to say anything more. Rose Manor, right? Okay, we'll go together. 
Me? Alone? No, please don't make me. The inhabitants of Rose Manor are surely living quite contented lives, and I'm sure they don't remember a thing. Interesting implication. What do you think it's implying? It could be anything. Oh my goodness, title drop. Yeah. Loading screen. Alright, save, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna save here. Like, whenever you see that, you, you, yeah. You have to be really careful in this game, because... Yeah. Let me save, let me save. <laughs> right. You just have to hover it on the bottom, right? And... I don't know if you should... Oh, yo, oh wait, well, let me explain the save system. Go back to the save screen. Um, so all of these are like rows that like you can save manually, but then the A row is um, any sort of like choices. Yeah, it'll auto save on like major choices. All right. Yeah. The room with the fireplace was always kept in pristine condition so they could enter contain but guests don't... at any time. Wait a second, don't count on the A save thing though, because um, it's not always reliable, and that's on purpose. This is Queen Elizabeth. Oh, uh, if that was Shakespeare. Uh, the walls colorfully decorated with tapestries and stained glass windows gave testament to their great fortune. The, test the servant's first assignment every morning was to clean this room. Pitchers, silver plates, and silverware were polished to a shine so they could be proudly put to use at a moment's notice. And for events like their daughter's birthday, the room served an even more important role. The tabletops were unremovable, so they had ordered new tabletops and designs made especially for this occasion. And once the banquet had drawn to a close, Tables speckled with half-empty wine glasses and leftover candied fruits were moved off to the side to make room for, of course, the festivities. Good evening, Lady Nelly. You're looking particularly lovely today. Nelly, I had these jewels cut just for you. You'll let me have this dance, won't you? That one guy wanted to be Mel so bad with the jewels. Yeah. <laughs> Run the jewels! Yeah. Exhausted. These are pretty good. Want one? I know you like sweets. They're apples candied and rock sugar, I think. You disappoint me, dear smell. Eh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the ma what do you think is the matter? They That's how I imagine she talks. They just like, keep coming. Face. It never ends. <laughs> it's driving me up the wall. Everyone's just repeating the same lines they've been taught. They all think pretty jewels and request the dance are enough to make a girl swoon. But I think that is true. That is true for you, Nelly. Though, why is she disappointed with me? Ugh, I think I'm done with pretty parties for this year. They'll probably throw oh, an even bigger one than next voices. year. <laughs> why? You well, sound like you Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Chili dog, corn dog. <laughs> Sonic rings! Awesome! You're too slow! You're about that age, Nelly. We are a reasonably distinguished family, and so there are a number of different houses that would like to have connections with us. So... Just use grab nice square steel to connect So them. what you're saying is do it for the family? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not... <laughs> I won't date or marry anyone! I have no interest in being used as a pawn in their inter-family politics! Pawn? I wouldn't go that far. And I'm sure Father wants to let you choose for yourself. You know, uh, someone you actually love. Love?! I- I never thought I would hear you talking about that- that- smash- <laughs> <Stop. laughs> <laughs> This isn't 90 Day Fiancé, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Err. Give me one Spin second, one second, one second, one second. Alright. Alright. <laughs> this is the exact moment Mel realized he never thinks about love. <laughs> wow. Cold-hearted bastard. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, just look at him. Okay. So much evil. <laughs> evil vampire child. Anyway. Y yeah. 
You don't even understand what makes Shakespeare's play so beautiful, and you're talking about love? Oh my gosh. I, uh... <laughs> Stop. We fell asleep during <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, and you're talking about love? We went all the way out to the Globe Theater, too. Well, pardon me for it's being a ignorant when it comes to romance and the arts. You liberal? <laughs> but you're <Literal>. not. <laughs> you're not Nelly. Shakespeare's make-believe story made you cry like a baby. Anyone would cry at that. You'd have to be crazy to sleep through it. That's not what I'm saying. Someone as emotionally vibrant as you, Nelly, would have no problem finding love. Ah, dear smell. We said dance. Lady Nelly, could I have this? Let's dance, dear smell. What? What? Me? Wait a. Come on, I really like this song. Qu quit pulling on me, Nelly. What's the point of us dancing? We're siblings. Ah, mother and father are staring daggers at, staring daggers at us. I was thinking too hard. Just have fun. No matter what day is it today, dearest Mel. Your birthday. Exactly, so I can do what I want. Now attend to your princess as a proper prince should. Oh, jeez. How did I get myself into this, in this, into this Portuguese music? Yeah. Nelly's script in fluttered. England. It's very good. Uh, Nelly's script fluttered along with her as she stepped in time with the music. She was not only a skilled singer, but a skilled dancer as well. I'm going to take a little sippy of the hydration juice. Mel, on the other hand, fumbled over his own feet trying to keep up. One would be hard-pressed to describe his dance abilities as good, even as flattery. Though, boys of his pedigree were taught to dance as part of their etiquette lessons. He found himself more being dragged around by his sister. He could hardly be said to be attending to her. Th this is... Hum <laughs> I like this. <laughs> nice. This is humiliating. You like this? You, li you like seeing him be humiliated? <laughs> no, I just like that it's like... <laughs> it's just moving around a little bit, you know? Right, yeah. They, they put in that work. <laughs> yeah. Put in the work, put in the hours. Yeah. Because his parents had been hands-off in raising him, largely giving him free reign to study and learn what he pleased, the male looked like a tangled-up marionette. From throughout the hall, he could hear giggling, uncomfortable chuckling, and people were coughing to disguise their laughter. Come now, dearest Mel. If this is the best you can manage, what are you going to do when you find a girl that catches your eye? I won't, so it doesn't matter. Teehee. Follow my lead, Mel. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> exactly, it sounds just like his face. Oh, bro, I thought this was going to be uh, a different song. Wait a minute. Nah, bro, it's going to loop forever. I don't even know what you're listening to right now. It's probably the same, like... Claire de Lune? This is like... Huh? It's, it's like not Claire de Lune right now. Claire de Lune? Yeah. What is that? Just look it up, you'll know what it is. Nelly alone joined her time dancing with her brother, and quite thoroughly at that. It did not matter to her that he moved awkwardly or that the guests were giving them cold stares. It was their parents who first cracked under the pressure. Just as their father was about to give an exaggerated cough and stop the music. A ruckus suddenly swelled up near the entrance. Bandits, thieves? What could that be? Who knows? Whatever's uh -oh. going on, I have been spared. The music came to a stop, and the party guests began bustling. Bussing. The sibling's father spoke up sternly above the noise in order to quell the spreading commotion. He ordered the servants to investigate, had the music restarted, gave a short apology for the interruption, and set the party back on course. I went to go check on the entrance with the other servants, as I recall. Oh my, why are you looking at me like that? Hee hee. These are not my memories, but those which dealt within the mansion. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> you have to do that. Sorry, that dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Alright, hee hee. These are not my memories. Well, the experience of reading this with you instead of by myself is so much different. <laughs> yeah, bro. Well, the like, genre changes. Yeah, I mean, you get more immersed into it, into what it is, you know. So. I think discussing it is fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh. Hee <laughs> hee, these are not my memories, but wait, that's the mid. Uh. He. Wait, I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna track.
Are, are you trying to like get your streak up in Candy Crush or something? Is it like notifying you? No, I'm uh, what's it called? What's that one game called? Uh, I don't even know. I'm playing uh, what's a gacha game? It's like really popular. I don't even know. Uh, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact? <laughs> yeah, are you, yeah, yeah. Are you actually playing Genshin no, Impact? No, heck not. Never played the game. Do you think we should be following what happens next from my perspective? Then? That is not what confused you. Well, your question shall be answered in time. In time. Now let us return to our tale. <laughs> Though the party had fallen still for a moment, your father's decisive actions restored the guest's festive moods in short order. So it was not by any means the commotion that caused the ball to conclude earlier than planned. <laughs> oh dear, I hear thunder. It was rather loud too. It sounds like we have quite the storm brewing. We live in a country where the weather was nothing if not unpredictable. Rain was a quick frequent Quick storm mewing. The stretches of time with clear skies grew longer as summer approached, but the weather was still somewhat un unstable on the cusp of the two seasons. They had a strong wind that night that night as well, which turned... What? Oh, they had a strong wind that night as well. I'm stupid. Which turned the raindrops yep. into little spears on the window. Were the party to continue on any longer, no one would be able to go home. Although their far father was quite concerned that Nelly had not, had not got on with any of the aristocrat boys, he decided to cut the festivities short. Thank goodness it ended early. How lucky I am. This must be a blessing for always being such a good girl. I'm not sure that having your own birthday party cut short cut counts as lucky. But it was no fun. I can't help it if I'm not enjoying myself. And for heaven's sake, Arthur was there. I have no interest in dancing with that dunce. Bro's an aardvark. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that again? Um, the aardvark? I'm the aardvark on PBS. <laughs> 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 Someone who is here. <laughs> I told you not to touch it. <laughs> Unbelievable. You don't remember anything, do you, dearest Mel? Die, die, die. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what I'm thinking. He came over to play a few times. Two uh, times when we were little. He's covered in gross freckles, and he's a huge jerk. He said my hair looked like the color of fallen leaves. Fallen leaves? No! I was thinking about that ugly smirk has me fuming. <laughs> has me coping! And yet he acts like nothing happened. He even calls me Lady Nelly, for goodness sake. Are you listening, dearest Mel? No. I'm listening, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder Damn. what the ruckus earlier was. If you're listening, then what did I say? Every word. Yeah, we should, what did I say? <laughs> you weren't listening, were you? Who cares about that? Sorry, but aren't you curious? It probably wasn't another guest, at least. Maybe a cat sneaked in. You think so? I do. But enough about that. Would you like to play cards in my room, dearest Mel? Seriously? I'm exhausted, though. It's not even that late. <laughs> Allergic to fun. <laughs> yeah, straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Something feels kind of <laughs> off. A cat? A cat? That's that ninja. Alright. I want to go check. Come on, hurry up! H hold on. You don't need to drag me, Nelly. My birthday isn't over yet, so you're not done attending to me. Oh, Nelly. What if it was the man that he gave the little coin to, hmm? Yeah, what if? Do you think Wells, do you think Mel is kind of a wet towel? Uh... No, he's just like a studious boy. I guess. I don't know. He hasn't really been faced with anything super serious yet. What about his sister being annoying? <laughs> being slightly annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest threat to his life. The rain yeah. just won't let up. I can't sleep. I wonder what the commotion earlier was about. Oh, for goodness sake. It's a cat, bro. It's all the storm's fault. That's why I can't sleep. I'm just fretting over nothing. I'm sure Nelly was right. It was just a cat. Maybe a dog. <sighs> If it was a pit bull, that'd actually be a problem. 
I can't sleep. <laughs> Bro walks outside and gets attacked by a pit bull. Yeah. <laughs> child, child, child. Target acquired. Yeah, target acquired. <laughs> Under 18. <laughs> <laughs> you won't escape me. R running background check to see age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hardly ever have this much trouble falling asleep. What could this feeling be, I wonder? It's not quite foreboding. Walking around the house at this time of night isn't going to help anything. But I'm not going to fall asleep just laying here. The only sounds that could be heard in the dark corridors were the sharp Hold patter up. of the rain, his footsteps, and his breathing. And the Hold lightning that's playing on the, on the music track. I need to get something. All right. Hello, blood. I'm so, back. What's up, Kyle? What's up, guy? Blood? All right. Though he was intimately familiar with the layout of the house, that night the hallways felt like an endless labyrinth veiled in shadows. Bren bent round. No moonlight shone through the windows, so he naturally found himself moving cautiously despite being in his own residence. Keeping the palm of his hand pressed up the chilly wall, he put one foot in front of the other. Is a is a eerie song playing right now? Yeah. Okay. But to where was he supposed to head? Mel, of course, had no way of answering that question himself. If he had anything, it was a guidance from above, the path to his destination lit by flashes of lightning. Or perhaps there was something else leading him along. Though he progressed with a fair bit of hesitation in his step, Mel was slowly but surely drawing nearer to one room in particular. He made his way through the seemingly endless halls. Past the living room, its fireplace long since cooled. And stopped outside in, Ab in Abigail's bedchamber. The He's a glow. maid. Okay. The dim glow yeah, of the it's lamp. Yeah, it's a really old term for maid. Interesting. Spilled through the cracks in the door. The g a gust of wind is not necessary to make a flame flicker. A person's movements or vibrations in the air from someone speaking, but the slightest emotions can cause the light of a fire to quiver. Shifting subtly, as though nudged by an invisible fingertip. I can see the light from inside. Is she still awake? A voice. He seemed to be hesitating. It would not be difficult for him to approach the door and peer inside, but he had reservations about keeping him in on another strangers, even if it was his own house. Moreover, this room was assigned to a woman. There was a woman behind that door. What would you do, Master, in this situation? Yeah, what would you do? Would you succumb to your curiosity and gaze inside, or would you respect the owner's privacy? Hee <laughs> hee. I shouldn't be doing this, but the voice. It feels like it's calling to me? Or someone else? I, yes, me, could sense someone watching me at that moment. He had succumbed to his curiosity. He stood on the other side of the door from me, his flaxen eyes open wide, trying to remain as invisible as possible. The wavering in his heart seemed to create faint ripples in the air which I pretended not to notice. Yes, I knew he was there. I could sense his presence and his wavering emotions. However, I could not begin to speculate as to his true feelings or how great a surprise this was to him. I, too, am discovering new facts of this tale by viewing it through the eyes of the mansion. But it is not I who is of concern, Master. It is you. You and I. Dun dun dun. Alright, Mel. I know I should do shouldn't be doing this. I should be ashamed of myself, but I can't look away. Who is that? Your skin is so is pale. That? Who? With the black <laughs> eyebrows, may I ask? Her skin is its so pale you can practically see through it. Is that white because she was out in the cold rain? Her hair is as white as snow, and her eyes look like... Like, how do I describe it? My Closed. vocabulary truth. <laughs> Closed. <laughs> Shut. Not open. Battened, if you will. My vacuum vocabulary truly lacks for situations like this. They look like... Like blood. 
No, that's just disturbing. Then wine, perhaps? No, more translucent than that. Gemstones, then? Yes, gemstones. Her eyes are like rubies. I've never seen anyone like her before. What could they be talking about? Mel's eyes were fixed on the peculiar young woman. She had glass-like skin, eyes that glimmered in the flickering candlelight, and snow-white hair that flowed like luxurious silk. But her lips were bluish-purple, her soft, delicate skin sullied with grime, her twinkling, uh, twinkling eyes pointed up down at the floor, and her hair a disheveled mess. They look brushed. They look perfectly Yeah, her, her, her hair looks perfectly brushed. <laughs> yeah. You there? Yeah, one second. Alright. Just got a... You got a free roll in Genshin? No. The tips of her fingers were cracked from the cold, her nails pale from malnutrition, and her garb little more than rags. However, true beauty is always visible, no matter what it may be. Beneath. Even wrapped in a veil of insalubrity, even if she thought herself hideous. I wonder what happened to her. Mel could no longer ever his gaze from the girl's visage. Nah. He had for the time being forgot the, show, the shame he felt for peeping. As he strained his ears to hear the conversation taking place inside, a sickly voice arose from the white haired girl's purple lips. So feeble was the sound Great, that a gentle breeze blowing through the room could carry it away. I apologize for the trouble. Think nothing of it. Give your apologies and thanks to the mistress. Understood. Ooh, the maid is stuck. There is something strangely comforting about this house, almost as if I've been here before. What? Brother, what? What? If my father were here, I'm sure he would be quite fond of it. I'm sorry about your father. That's not... There's nothing you could have done, I imagine. When you came to our rescue, he was already... Rescue? Father? Was that perchance what the commotion was about? He stared intently, entranced by the scene unfolding behind, beyond the door. A gaze could often signal one's presence to others more effectively than words. The white-haired girl could, could, I can't talk, could likely sense him there as well. She flickered her gem-like eyes upward. That was when the boy finally felt a pang of panic. For a split second, her flaxen eyes met her ruby. His flaxen eyes met her ruby eyes, causing him to recoil from the door. Is this fear? His heart was pounding like the rain outside. Careful not to make a sound, he took one, two steps away. Did did she catch me? I'm not sure. It it was only for a moment. She can't have seen me. The boy did not have the courage to peek in on the room a second time, so he cautiously returned to his bedchamber as quietly as he could manage. But even beneath his covers, he cannot erase that girl's eyes from his memory. Her melancholic red irises, her voice, delicate as a glass picture, her pale, almost lifeless skin, her pure white hair. Every singular detail kept him from banishing her image from his mind, nor could he restrain his heavily pounding heart. Who could she be? Is something the matter? No. I just thought I felt something watching, someone watching us. Hee <laughs> hee, it was only your imagination, I'm sure. Which one has better drip? Mm. They're both pretty drippy. Oh, if you press escape, you can see the full picture. It removes the text box temporarily. So if you want to see, like, the bottom half of the sprite, you can press the escape key. Do what? If you press the escape key, you can see the bottom half of a sprite. Like oh. you, you'll see the the full screen. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Just in case there's like you know like major event pictures, and you want to see the full thing. Unseen force. Are you familiar oh. with how people refer to this mansion? Rose Manor. Yes, indeed. It is called Rose Manor because you can smell the sweet fragrance of the rose garden even at a, even at a great distance. But that is not what I meant. It is said that a witch resides within the house. A witch? I have not heard any such stories. It's her, it's her, it's her. <laughs> <laughs> you probably wouldn't have. It was a very, very long time ago. Nothing you need to concern yourself with. 
you, 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 you. Why do you think she's the witch, bro? Give her a chance. <laughs> <laughs> she's gloating to herself subtly. Perhaps. Gloating? Perchance. What is gloating? Like, uh, like boasting. It's like, uh, it's like being, like, filling yourself with pride about something. And of like, being like, like oh, I know something they don't or something? Or, yeah, or like, I, I, I'm superior to you, you know. Yeah. You have a peculiar presence about you. Should I consider that a compliment? Hee <laughs> hee. It's getting late. You should get some rest. The room has already been set aside for you. But first, may I ask you one thing? Yes. I do not believe you have given me your name yet. My name... My name is... Cliffhanger. L. Ooh. Uh oh! Uh oh! What? Her name is Mel too? Maybe? Her name is Hell. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Hell. No, be, don't, don't ruin this. Yeah, we were tar. I'd be stupid. <laughs> 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 Wake up. Uh, Get up, Mel! <laughs> what? That's probably literally exactly how she sounds, but I hate it so much. Huh? It's morning. You disappoint me, dearest Mel. It's been it's very much long since morning. I didn't see you at breakfast, so I came to find out what it was the matter. I've really been asleep that long? Let's see oh my what? I was trying to look at the. F I pressed control instead. Bro. Look at the drip. Oh, yeah. Who has better drip? Uh. He's got mi Mr. Kingdom Hearts over here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this dress is pretty cool. I like the butterfly. I don't know. She looks, she looks like she got a, like. I don't know. She's a glint st glintstone sorcerer with those hair things. <laughs> glintstone, yeah. <laughs> yes, dearest Mel. What what are you doing here? You can't just go around prancing into a boy's bedchamber. You, you know they actually get glintstone staffs from Nelly's hair. They just pluck it off her hair and then wait for <laughs> another one. Yeah. <laughs> I did send one for you. You're the one who refused to wake up. Uh, Excuse me. Besides, it's not like we're strangers. You, you used to sleep together all the time. That was long ago. Things are different now. Oh, you're overthinking it, silly. Now hurry up. Get out of bed, sleepyhead. All right, all right, I'm getting up. So you can see yourself out. Oh my, you look awful, dear smell. For someone who overslept, you look like you, you didn't get a wink last night. You, yeah, staring so. at women in their rooms. <laughs> I, was <laughs> pee, I was a peeping Tom. Yeah. You didn't go out of your un, out, out on the town last night, did you? Naughty, naughty boy. I, I, I would never. You know that. You squeaked. I don't think I believe you. I didn't go out last night or anything. I'm tired because you had me playing cards li until late, Nelly. Hey, we weren't playing for that long. Besides, look at me. I got up just fine. But anyway, shoot. I can't get dressed with you in here. Fine, I'm leaving. Phew. Phew. <laughs> Who wins in a f Never mind. Oh, I okay, who has the best? Huh? Huh? Who has the best trip so far? Uh. Out of all, everyone you've you've seen so far. I don't know, the, the, best maid, the maid is pretty striking. But yeah, purple. Yeah, purple. You can't go wrong with purple. Um, and extremely long hair. Oh, by the way, the title screen has a secret for you. If you quit, if you go right now and save. All right. You have to save the save. Or else it's gonna put you back to your last save. Actually, it'll, it restarts the game if you try going back without. Yeah. All right. Window. Okay. Uh. Window. Oh. Yeah. No wait. Um. Church of Tyler. Yeah. Okay. Um. Then go to extras. I can't. Um, use your, um, air arrow keys. And then press space or enter. Oh, um, inspect your- wait, oh crap, what the heck? 
Uh, oh, no, no, you, you have to, never mind, never mind, you have to do it a bit later. Yeah, I'm, I'm mixed up when you're supposed to do it. Alright. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Just a little secret I found. I can't, I can't load it, what's going on? Oh, you, you can, there's oh, a thing yeah, in the middle. I, I didn't see it. Yeah. Just, just locked right back in. I just loaded a safe state. Yeah. <sighs> what now? Come on, no need to be mean. I'm sure you'll be quite surprised at the news. Oh? At oh. breakfast, which you missed. Father told us. Told you what? Did it, do I really want to say? It sounds like you want me out of your room, dearest man. He does. Please, Nelly. Hee <laughs> hee. We got a new maid today from a house we have ties to, supposedly. I've never seen anyone like her before. One second, one second, one second. She's all like, we have two weird pale maids now. Get <laughs> a one. Yeah. I've never seen anyone like her before. For supposedly coming from a good family, she isn't very graceful, and I've never seen her at social gatherings. That's not the surprising part. Does that maid? She's peculiar. Uh, she has a very unusual appearance, that one. Have white hair? What? How do you know that, dearest Mel? Thanks, Nelly. Mel's the type of person to own an Airbnb. And, like, <laughs> put cameras over here. <laughs> hey, get back here. Oh, for goodness sake, what's gotten into him? Bah. Bah humbug. Bah humbug. At the time, the majority of servants at the mansion were men. However, the ladies of the house all had Abigails, so there were several wo women servants, myself included. The maids, by and large, were selected from the daughters of other esteemed families. It was, you could say, a sort of training before they entered society. The girls would serve in houses even more powerful than their own. And the white-haired girl Mel saw the night before was one such maid. When he heard this, Mel could not sit still for any longer. Oh, uh, I didn't really think this through, did I? I don't even know where she is. I'm guessing she's probably mother's maid. What white hair. Going? It has to be the girl from last night. But deep down, he was having difficulty believing the young woman he had seen the previous night was truly here to be a servant. And can even you blame him? When he saw her, she was an absolute mess, hardly what you could envision from a girl of class. But he did not seek her to find out whether that was true. He merely wanted to see her once more, to ascertain whether what, whether what he had witnessed the previous night was real or his imagination. And he wanted to have an actual conversation with her. I don't want to run into mother. That would be awkward. He was heading toward his mother's bedchamber. The closer he drew, the heavier he stepped. Through. He rounded a corner, debating whether or not to head back and stopped in his tracks. On occasion, wishes do come true. When Mel turned the corner, he saw her. The same girl, that same white hair. Oh! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! She appeared to be cleaning the hallway. I... All right, she traced along the wooden carvings, lighting the walls, making certain not to miss even a speck of dust. The girl wore a pristine dress, the uniform of the mansion's abigails. There was no longer any filth to obscure her beauty. All that, had, bad. all that had covered her pure white hair and glass-like skin was no longer. The one thing that had not changed was her listless ruby eyes. Pardon me. Hearing his footsteps, the young woman, oh my gosh. Did you skip it? Yeah, on accident. I was trying to look um, at the whole scroll, thing. scroll up. Scroll up with the mouse. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I didn't really miss much. Lord Mel, yes? Your father informed me of you. D did he? I guess I don't need to introduce myself then. I believe she made an attempt to smile, but though it was difficult to tell, and she quickly dropped her gaze back to the floor. Flax and Ruby met only for the briefest moment. She seemed to be looking at both someone and no one at all. Everyone here truly has the most beautiful color of hair. Did you have business with the mistress, Lord Mel? I can let her know if you'd like. I was looking for you. Riz, 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 <laughs> unspoken Riz. 
Is he saying it all in his- he's saying everything in his head right now. Yeah. For me? Y you can yeah, this, this is all his imagination. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna get, like, back to reality and he's, like, still in the hallway just standing there. In reality, she's sucking her, his blood right now. Yeah, he's dying. Yeah. Mel felt as though all the blood in his body- mm -hmm. All the blood uh, in his body began to flow backwards. He could not effectively describe the sensation, but in a word, it resembled panic. On his way to find her, Mel had come up, with, come up with a number of subjects he wanted to talk about, and he generally had little trouble speaking with others. He had less experience in talking tell. with women, this was true, but the time he had spent around Nelly had kept him from stumbling too much. Until then. Y what do you yes. mean? Nelly's like weird. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was wondering how you. Yes, Dude, what is wrong with you? Why do you keep clicking, bro? Lord Mel, I was wondering how you were doing. Pardon? <coughs> I, I'm quite fine. Good, good, that's great to hear. You fool, Mel. What are you even saying? You have more important things to ask, like where she came from. Or to Just tell, tell her, her she skincare has hair perfect. and eyes. But I don't want to trouble her too much. L Lord Mel? Yes. Sorry, you just suddenly fell silent. Was I, um, in your way? I, in my way? N no, not at all. What, what are you up to? <laughs> I'm cleaning. Well, yeah, I didn't even need to ask. <laughs> I'm such a dummy! <laughs> ah, you're cleaning! This retard. <laughs> yeah, he's so bad, bro. <laughs> the only female he ever talks to is his sister. Yeah. He cannot raise up anyone. Oh, uh, can you just let the other servants take care of the cleaning? You're one of the noble's daughters we took in, right? Uh, then why is mother making... No, I am doing this because I want to. Mistress appeared to be busy, and I could not simply be idle. But I enjoy cleaning. Well, if you wife material, <laughs> say um yesterday. Do you also enjoy making sandwiches. <laughs> Do you love video games and sitting on your ass all day? Yeah. Just kidding. This mansion is truly a thing of beauty. <laughs> all the many roses in the garden, even the furnishing, has got a great deal of thought put into it. This family must have a wonderful sense of aesthetic. Oh, yeah, thanks. Did she just change the subject on me? I'm delighted to have been given the opportunity to serve at such a magnificent house. Mother and father actually had nothing to do with that. Not even the garden. It's all been around since my grandfather's time. This mansion was a complete wreck when he bought it. Oh, was it? Yeah, frankly, I'm surprised he actually paid money for it. The chandelier in the foyer was shattered and only half attached to the ceiling. Most of the decorations on the walls were broken. Well, all Mel has to say is, like, it was a wreck until you arrived. And she'd be like, wow. And she would be like, disgusting animal. Yeah, disgusting animal. <laughs> I can hardly <laughs> imagine. This is a marvelous, impressive house. Ah, I'm sure he'd be flattered to hear it. Well, actually, I made it myself. Brick from brick. <laughs> brick by brick, day by day. Day by my day. Friend, my grandfather was a bit of an eccentric. He liked to do things people didn't expect just to watch the look of surprise on their faces. If he was poor, it'd be called weird. He was kind of the man who would buy a mansion that was beyond repair just to give it, give it a completely new life. Everyone who had seen the property before it was renovated was astonished. They regretted not taking the opportunity themselves, seeing the transformation it, it underwent. Hey, hey. Huh? Is this the type of guy to go on a date and then talk about what he's doing at school instead of like, What? Actually what? What is he saying? What is he saying? What is he saying, bro? Bro. What an idiot, dude. Is he stupid? He just said the house is a disrepair, bro. I was just thinking that you're kind of like this house, you know, you came came to this house in rags and, and you look like like crap, but now you look so amazing. Why do you put on new clothes? What an idiot. He's so dumb. What do you mean by that? I mean when you first arrived. Oh, uh, never mind, forget it. <laughs> dumb! <laughs> dumb! <laughs> stupid! And rude. She'll figure out you were peeping on her, stupid. She hasn't yet, has she? He doesn't yes. realize that. Alright, uh, it's nothing. The more I think about it, you and the mansion aren't really comparable. The truth is, it being a rundown mess is the only reason nobody wanted to buy the house. They say, what the freak? That all who dwell within this house shall be met with misfortune. Simply fun, haha. Hi, hee hee hee. 
I'm just kidding. It's not actually true. It's all rumors and hearsay, embellished to make the tale more exciting. The rumors only started because of how it used to look. If the mansion truly begat misfortune, then we wouldn't still be here. And it wouldn't explain how my grandfather died. Do you know how he passed away? No. How did he? Inside a lovely lady. What <laughs> the freak, bro? <laughs> You're selling the bag. Yeah, but he's it's, so dumb. But it's kind of funny, though. Yeah. What? My good heavens! Good heavens! Believe it, believe it or not, <clears throat> that was how he died. Together. With a young, beautiful woman. So you're saying that your grandfather was a pedophile. Is that what you're saying? I think it just means, like, 20 years yeah, old. Yeah, well, you, you never know. Well, well, actually, you know, it was a different time, so... Probably mm, 14. Uh, no, probably 14. What if, uh... What if the maid was this young woman that he's describing? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what if the boy, you, uh, I, I don't know. Oops. Believe it or not, that was how he died together with a young, beautiful woman. His time ran out while he was making love to her. Hot maids say. in your area. They suck Dude, you she's a succubus, bro. The maid's a succubus. Yeah. A rather crude way to go. But he was hardly misfortunate. Ooh! Oh. What did I tell you? Ah. Yes? J just I'm so hard. You know, I, uh. <laughs> 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 I'm aroused. <laughs> Horny. I uh, promised and I didn't inherit, inherit my grandfather's propensity for such base behavior. I'm pure of body and spirit, dedicated wholly to my studies, so. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. Hey, she laughed. Hee <laughs> hee, my apologies. No, 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 it's fine. Anyway, we were talking about the mansion, right? I've always thought it was kind of a strange place myself. That dress you're wearing, it was found here after my grandfather bought it. You don't see that kind of design around these parts, so I'm guessing it was probably important. From the architecture France, right? really... Huh? From France. Yeah. Because really French made. Yeah. It's really old-fashioned, too, which must have caught the grandfather's eye. When he announced his plans to buy it, the entire family opposed his decision, but he refused to budge. Renovation upon renovation gave, gave the mansion new life, but all of his work, he was most fond of the roses in the garden. He collected species from all over across the world, and every time he got a new one, he would summon gardeners to arrange and grow them. It, it, uh, Something is a bit overboard, we can just hire them. I guess, yeah. It took incredibly long to complete. There were even some that wouldn't grow in the climate of the land, but Grandfather refused to give in. He, he invented greenhouses. <laughs> Me, I don't really get how someone could be so impassioned about them. It's just embarrassing every time call, someone calls this house Rose Manor. Perhaps the roses were meant for someone. What? I'm simply speculating. Roses Reverse make wonderful gifts, after all. Indeed they do. <laughs> it, it, like, it, it's like a little thought bubble. I, I'll remember this later. <laughs> yeah. If you like roses as much as Nelly, then you're welcome to go see them for yourself. Pick as many as you'd like. If anyone asks, just say I gave you permission. I... Don't be shy, I'm sure it'll get tiring if all you do is work. No, I just... I am so she likes sensitive work, to sunlight. Vampire! 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 No, there's no way! There's no signs. <laughs> <laughs> She's just albino, bro. Oh, that's unusual. Perhaps that explains why you're so pale. I had no idea. That sounds rough. And your skin is so pretty, too. You Mel, have you ever read Dracula? Uh, I started it a long time ago, but I didn't finish it. Yeah. Well, oh no, I'm very much surprised. Or would you have preferred a more dramatic response? No, I just... I expect you to find it disturbing. I'm sensitive to sunlight and can hardly spend any time outside. That makes me sound like some kind of, some kind of demonic creature. Haha. <laughs> oh, you worry too um, so much. There's not a monster in the world as sweet as you. Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh. You finally raised yes. her up, bro. Are the other maids teasing you, perhaps? That black-haired one especially, she's, how should I put it, a little frightening. Almost as if she has a steel heart or something. She's impenetrable. Right, she's one of Mother's maids too, isn't she? Now I'm even more worried. Since you refuse to follow my instructions, you are henceforth Hellspawn! I can imagine her saying that. <laughs> oh, and again. I'm, ve I'm very sorry. No need to imagine the Imagine the first girl you try raising up is this lady. She's just the weirdest person ever, and you're like, think you're just awkward, but she's just weird. 
Dude, a vampire? Amazingness. No need to apologize. In fact, I wish you'd left more. Um, she's actually very kind to me, and everything she does, she does with incredible precision and efficiency. She looks so young, and yet she has such skill. She looks so young. Hmm. Oh, Why do you say looks, <laughs> and not is? <laughs> <laughs> how, long, <laughs> how long has she been here in this mansion? Actually, uh, she's been here for quite some time, but I don't know exactly how long. No one knows how old she is. It's kind of creepy. Hmm. Hmm. I have never once considered her such. Uh, sorry, sorry, you're right. It's bad in matters to speak ill of others. Either way, she still scares me. It's kind of like there's no light in her eyes, or like her smiles are all faked. That doesn't make her, make her any less pretty, though. Would you riz up the mid? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, the maid. There. Oh, uh, yes, you can ask me anything. Does the master, your father, Lord Mel, often retire from the mansion? I've not seen him around. Oh, yeah, father frequently returns home. This mansion is actually our secondary house. Why do you ask, though? I was just curious, nothing more. Assassin, assassin! Huh? Wait, wait, sorry, I, I did something. What happened? Can you scroll up? Or just... Oh, uh, yeah, fr father frequently returns home. This mansion is actually our secondary house. Why do you ask, though? Uh, I was just curious, nothing more. Assassin, assassin. Oh. Who, who's an assassin? Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> um, um, yes, what is it? One of the maids asked to see me, so I should be on my way if you'll excuse me. What? Uh, alright. See you later then. Goodbye. Alright, one moment. Since you're sensitive to the sun, I can pick some roses from time to time for you. F for you to decorate your room. Dude. Lord Mel? That's all. Sorry for holding you up. Ah, why am I so bad at this? She definitely thinks I'm obnoxious. Ah, I wanna hide under a rock. I wanna reverse time and try this over again. You know what's cool about playing me yet? I'm just kidding. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can just scroll up. Yeah. Woo! Roses are not becoming of me. He's too kind. Oh, wow. Interesting. Like she actually like him. He is too kind. Too kind. Or too kind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have my thanks, Father. And I apologize for being late today. Now, there's something unusual. You not being punctual. Now, there is something unusual. You not being pu punctual. Maybe next we'll go a whole month without rain. I'm going to save my game. Ooh, you think something's gonna happen? No, I just, I just needed to. No. Do you have mercy on your next year's crop smell? You hyperbolize, father. Father, so did something nice happen? Huh? You look like you're in good spirits. D do I? No, uh, nothing. Something did happen, didn't it? I, it's all over my face, isn't it? People prefer an open book to a face of stone. So it is. People may prefer it, but it's not a good trade to have for social engagements. What? Not the kind of engagements you'll be having anyway? Ha, I'm sorry, don't look so dejected. For now, at least there's nothing wrong with that. So tell me, what is you in such a joyous mood, Mel? You torment me so, Father. You've taken on another maid. Y you know how that goes, right? Someone new comes in, things get lively for a while. All the excitement has gotten to me. That's all. Oh, why are you looking looking at me like that? No reason, no reason. So what family does the little lady come from? Oh, uh, I don't actually know. You don't know? I was going to ask her, but I missed my chance. Father has returned home, and I can't speak to Mother. I see. She's cut your eye, has she? Yeah, she has. But the truth is, you're more than just interested in her, are you not? What? No, no I... Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. I also think she's cool and smart and... And funny and... And funny. Pretty and pretty and cool and... Uh, you truly do torment... You truly do enjoy tormenting me. Well, I should be getting home now. Mel. Yes? Make certain you find out where she's from. If you're genuinely interested in her. It's your responsibility to determine if she's actually suitable for you. <coughs> Thank you. 
excuse me. It doesn't matter if she's from an esteemed family or not. N no. I'm not in love with her. I'm just interested. This isn't love. No. It couldn't be. This is me we're talking about. Besides, I hardly even know her. Young sire. Blessed young sire. Alms for the poor. It's the same beggar as before. I don't think he's moved since then. But he looks skinnier than last time. He's going to Ooh. have trouble making it through the summer. I should get him something while I still have the chance. Alms Turn him into a butler, have bro. Mercy. Sorry, but this is all I have to give you. Ah, thank you very much. Blessings upon you. May the Lord bless your soul, young sire. Thanks. I feel okay. bad for him. That's just the way of the world. Farewell. So far, do you think Mel is a good person? So or do you far. think he's just? Or do you think he's just like? Do you think he's helping the poor person because like he feels obligated to morally, or if like he actually feels sorry for him? I think he does. Yeah. Hey, there's no indication he's obviously that he's like, yeah. He's like trying to do it for like a appearance or something. Yeah, because he's obviously like religious and stuff, so he should have like, you know, yeah. the charitable mindset. The skies are really clear. The sun shone fiercely up down in that town that day. As was characteristic of the area, cloudy days and rain are frequent during the season. But the sun almost always took the stage the day after the storm. Hey, dude, you read so much faster than I do. I don't know why, but I like always um, go back, like always, like will check what I read just in case I miss something because I try to like absorb everything. So it slows me down a lot when I do that. Yeah. Uh, and it's probably because I didn't read much until I started reading visual. I didn't read anything until I started reading visual novels. So. That's probably why my reading comprehension isn't as quick as yours, I think. Maybe. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I did debate in high school, so. I did, too. I, I said speeches, but it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Did you do it longer than I did? I think I did it for like... I did it for like two years. Oh, you might... Actually, you may have done it longer than I did. Oh, really? Yeah. I did it for only one... Yeah. Anyway, as was characteristic of the area, cloudy days and rain were frequent during the season, but the sun always took the stage the day after a storm. The cathedral standing tall in the center of town, the stone paved streets clacking with the pleasant sound of footsteps, the people peering out from beneath the awnings to look up at the sky. In Mel's eyes, it was as if they were all blessed by a divine light. However, not everyone living in the same land was equally blessed. In fact, the blessed were far outnumbered by the forsaken. Even if their time would later come to be referred to as the Golden Age. The eclipse happened. <laughs> Elsewhere, <laughs> back at the mansion, Nellie was causing trouble for the Abigails. On a whim, she had decided to redecorate her bedchamber. So she gathered the maids and put them to work, shouting orders and demands and complaints. Jeez. And she yeah. had not summoned only her personal servants, but others as well, including the white-haired girl. No, not like that. How many times I must tell you? <laughs> the tapestry <laughs> goes by the door. Dude. <laughs> and I don't like the carpet's pattern. Is there anything else we can change it with? Hey, who put this ugly boss here? Boss. <laughs> Nelly appeared to be rather irritated, and it was the servants who bore the brunt of her frustration. Though if they found this similarly vexing, none of them showed it. She was a girl who spoke her mind, a trait particular to that time in history. She's Women so of pleasant. the Golden Age were so vivacious, in fact, that it inspired parody and satire in foreign countries. But no matter how hands-off her parents were, had Nellie had been born a generation earlier, or a, gener a generation later, she likely would not have been able to act so free-spirited. That day, however, Nellie did not seem to be her usual self. Although she always spoke her mind, it really went beyond being childishly adorable. It was unusual to see her in such a foul mood, not even a smile on her face. Ugh! Get rid of all of it. The carpet, that chair, it's the desk, it's all so ugly. Don't we have anything better? Anything better? If we don't, then order it. Have it made! You can't do that You can do have that much, made. can't you? Have it I can't made! Do... Yeah. You just, gotta, you just gotta pretend to be gay, that's it. Oh, yeah. But I am. 
Are you there? What's up? Oh, nothing. Hold up. You are? Uh. uh it's over. Only for you. Uh oh. Yeah. If we don't, then order it. Have it made. You can order it. Hurry up and replace them. He's gonna see. He's gonna see how she's treating her. And not like it. Oh, but no. He's yeah. gonna run inside and be like, "Oh, stop! That's my, that's um, my love. It's my love." Having only arrived that morning, the white-haired girl was unsure what she was supposed to be doing. Caught in the middle of a flurry of maids and furniture and fabric, she chased frantically, stumbling Abigail's with her eyes and may and made attempts to help, but not being familiar with the work, she only ended up getting in their way. She probably felt that everyone should be better off with her not in the room. So when the maids ordered to get new furniture made it their way out of Nellie's room, she attempted to follow them. You hold on a second! You, yes you, with the white hair. However, Nellie stopped her before she could take her leave. What? The white haired girl turned back, bewildered, to find Nellie smiling at her. The corners of her mouth turned up into a self-assured grin. There was no trace of timidity or uncertainty in her demeanor. Her flaxen eyes seemed like they would not they would look nice under the light of the sun. Almost the exact opposite of the white-haired girl. Hey, hey. When you forget the maid was speaking, and you see a hee-hee in the narration. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, the text changes color. I mean, yeah. The context of the conversation changes. I wanted to talk to you, actually, yeah. but Mother was never one to share. I asked her to trade maids, but she wouldn't have it. Trade, you mean for... Hey, <laughs> Which is why I decided to completely redecorate my room, because then I would need some extra hands. Wait, do you think the maid is, like, putting on, like, voices for all the characters? That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing the same voice that you're doing for Nelly. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I really hated that girl. I really hated that stupid <laughs> girl. That, that stupid brat. Yeah. But why? Because mother and father refused to tell me anything. Why is that? Who are you exactly? Where did you come from? Tell me, what house are you from? I... I... Why can't you tell me? If we took you in, you must be from a fairly decent family. As a member of the Rose family, I have a right to know. Do I not? You can't expect me to welcome a girl to my home who won't even tell me where she came from. I don't know anything about you. I haven't seen you at any parties. I... I'm... I came from another country. Another country? What country? Somewhere very, very far away. Oh? North of here? East, west, south? Uh, um... South. It's south of here. Across the sea to get here, which is why we've never met before. How far did you have to travel then? How many times did the sun rise? And how many stormy nights did you face? I Hold on, let me get my notebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Innumerable days and nights we sailed, heading even further north. Huh. So tell me. Uh, Lady Nelly? That is the most wonderful penny. She just tried to brush me off. I won't let her get away that easy. Painting? It's in my room, so of course it's wonderful. So of course it's wonderful! <laughs> Bitch! Just look at all of her mannerisms. It's all just to piss the player off. <laughs> it's in my room, so of course it's wonderful! <laughs> but that that one's especially so. You're both so adorably. Adorable. You, Lady Nelly, and Lord Mel? Hey, <laughs> How old were you when it was painted? Huh? Ah, that painting. Goodness, yes, you have a good eye for art. It is magnificent, isn't it? This was done when I was four and Mel was seven. I see, I see you now, I see. What? In that in that prelude when they were in the flower garden, he was seven and she was four. Oh yeah. Probably. You see how we were standing next to each other, holding hands? I was too young to remember it very well, but Mel Beautiful. looks like he was really embarrassed. But standing there it's it's the very guy, like impressionist the, it, it's supposed to like convey they, a feeling. They, yeah, they pre-ordered Picasso. <laughs> but, st <laughs> but standing there like statues makes for a boring painting. Nellie explained brightly. Having completely forgotten what she was pressed up against the white girl, she did a little twirl, stopping to face the portrait. Though many pa paintings lined the walls of her room, Nellie was most fond of the one of her and her brother, two darling siblings standing side by side, the older brother smiling kindly and the younger sister sweetly tilting her head, her cheeks the color of fresh-picked apples. I was like the very embodiment of her happiness. A painting lays its subjects bare, you know. Fortune and mis misfortune, happiness and sorrow. Enshrined on cabined canvas for all to see. And this reflection is not merely limited to the point in time it was made either. Did you know, Master, that paintings are alive? 
They are drawn with a brush over an extended trench, stretch of time, unlike photographs, which capture a singular moment. The two have their own individual merits, but a photograph is still while a painting moves. Portraits reveal both the past and the present state of those they depict. Interesting. It's actually a cool way to think about it. Yeah. Or maybe it's true, maybe it's actually alive, and they come out. <laughs> Mel and I have always been close. I would sing songs for him, and he would teach me about all sorts of things. He's so smart. Nowadays, Mel hardly even goes on walks with me, making excuses like, I'm an adult now. But we used to spend a lot of time playing together in that rose garden. I when see. you were four. <laughs> the white-haired girl normally had difficulty smiling, but her lips naturally curled upward as Nellie reminisced. A vision of the two happy siblings had probably swelled up in her mind. And I imagine there was a faint trace of envy in her heart as well. Lady Nellie, you love Lord Mel quite deeply, I see. Yes, of course I do. Mel's smart, and he's studious, and he's incredibly kind. For my birthday, he gave me this wonderful rose necklace. The jewelry shop he got it from is famous because even the royal family makes commissions from their workshop. So he had to have it ordered in months, months in advance, just for me. Hee hee, he's a prince. Oh, hee hee. He's pretty charming, wouldn't you say? That's why I call him my prince. But you know what? Mel is a terrible dancer, and he still hasn't got his feet on the ground yet. And he's so bad at interacting with girls. So there's no one else who would, who would say that about him. He's quite the gentleman. I assumed women would be drawn to him. Gentlemen? Have you met Mel already? This morning, briefly. That reminds me. Mel seemed to know about her, too. Hmm. What do you think about Mel? I, um, as I said, he's a gentleman. That's not what I mean. Don't think I'll let you get away with putting, away any, putting any funny ideas in his head. What? Mel is too trusting. He's pure of heart, so I won't stand for you trying to take advantage of him. I... I would never. So you say, but you actually want to get close to him. I... I wouldn't dream of it, Lady Nelly. He is a man far behind my reach. I'm drinking water. Same. You aren't planning on doing anything, are you? Not at all. And you don't have any romantic feelings for him, do you? What? Um... Well, do you? I have no romantic feelings for him, Lady Nelly. And you won't develop any? I will not. Nelly's acting like she's an older sibling. Yeah. And with that, Nelly gave a wide, satisfied grin, even though no one has a, any has no way of knowing how another truly feels or how they might in the future. If you hey. think about it, wait, wait a second. If you think about it, wouldn't the maid have to be spying on everyone somehow? Because she's narrating what, exactly what's happening in like different rooms. Yeah. Maybe so that's she's an emanation of the mansion itself. Anyway, hey, hey, well, you wouldn't mind, would you? Now that I think about it, there are plenty of other boys. You're getting along. You getting together with Mel is downright absurd. Uh, indeed. Yeah, but anyway, back to what we were talking about earlier. Your family. I almost forgot. I um. You haven't told me exactly where you came from or anything about your. Lady Nelly, I brought a new carpet. Just look at the embroidery. The work of a true artisan. I'm simply in love with it. Surely you will find it to your liking as well. Wow, you're right. That's a Florentine stitch, isn't it? I wonder whether someone mimicked the style or if it was imported. Either way, a great find. Let's hurry up and get it laid out. Oh, and we'll have to see how the colors go with everything else. We have to finish redecorating quickly so I can show Mel. He'll be so surprised. What wonderful taste you have, Nelly. He 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 he. When the other Abigails returned, so too did the bustle within Nellie's room. As the white-haired girl watched, a faint smile crossed her lips. Perhaps it was from relief of having escaped Nellie's inquisition. Or perhaps... Oh, uh, What do you think she's <laughs> thinking? <laughs> she's thinking... I'm killing About? You. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. Nellie. I'm back. Did you eat something? You're not supposed to, dearest Mel. You're unusually cheerful. cheerful. Uh, I'm the same as always. Anyway... Never mind that, dearest Mel. Take a look at my room. I redecorated today. So that's what you've been doing, hiding away in the house all day, Nelly. How is that any different from what you're doing? You were in the church all day. I, I guess. I will look at your room, I promise. But first, uh, do you know where the new maid is? Now, now, don't get any strange ideas. I just haven't yet had the chance to introduce myself, and I thought I should as a member of the family. Except you have, and I know it. Being the eldest son, it would be shameful if she were to pass me in the halls and not know, even knowing who I am, so... Don't ask me. What? But you were in the house all day. 
She attends to Mother, so why would I know where she is? Though, she did help me redecorate my room. You made her help? Let's work for the men's servants. There was no reason to make the maids do it. Oh, so you're saying I should invite a bunch of men into my room? You're saying I'm a whore? <laughs> <laughs> I go into your room all the time, Kelly. <laughs> and you were in my bedchamber just this morning. Only one man is allowed in my bedroom, dearest Mel, and that is you. So unless you become a servant, which I will not stand for, I will not ask any of them for help. Oh, Nelly, you ought to be a little more... A little more... What? If you're going to lecture me, I won't hear it. What am I going to do with you, my little lady? What? What? Why are you looking at me like that? We talked about you, dearest Mel. And I'm not going to tell you what she said. About me? What did she say? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Please, Nelly. She said... She said she has no romantic interest in you. <laughs> wow. What? Dude, why, does why does she care so out? much, bro? <laughs> Obsessed with little sister, I guess. I don't know. Because we're both girls. And we talk about things like what kind of boys we like. And who's the most handsome? Why do you look so downtrodden, dearest Mel? You look like a sad little boy. You can't get his crush to notice him. Very on the nose there, Nelly. Very on the nose yeah. there, man. That face is unbecoming of a prince, Mel. Are you interested in her? That's strange, you haven't even met. I, I am not. It's just depressing to find out that someone you've never even met doesn't like you. That's all. And then what do you care? If I'm going to make my move, I must do so soon. I don't have much time. Assassin? Uh-oh! Uh oh! She about to drain the life out of him using the hoc toi technique. <laughs> Give him the hoc toi, you know what I mean? Hoc toi. Yeah. <laughs> the master of the house isn't around, so next in line would be him. That painting. Oh. You should probably save. Wink, wink. Just because the title screen, that means that something's happening significant. Or, I mean, that means that, like, uh, major chapters are switching. This is the song. This song is not Claire de Lune. All right. Uh, all, the, all, all the music in this is original. Yeah. All right. I'm going to stop here, though. Oh. Yeah. Wait, wait. Uh. Oh, I saved. I feel. I feel like you go. F okay. Do what? Oh, uh, you already saved, right? Yeah. Sir. Oh, I feel. Like, all right. All right. All right. What are you saying? I think it's a good place. To s Never mind. It's fine. All right. All right. Do you want me to continue a little bit more? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll go a little bit harder. Despite his near devastation by Ellie's news, Mel's flex and eyes continue to wander in hopes of catching sight of the girl. By now, it should have been quite obvious to you what Mel was feeling. But the boy himself was having difficulty comprehending the things going through his heart. Emotionally, he was horribly unstable, like a ship without a sail. And still, every time he spotted the white-haired girl, his heart would leap, his whole body jitter with anxiety and excitement. He had never felt anything like this before, and as such, he struggled to keep these strange emotions in check. Whenever he saw an opportunity, Mel would speak to the white-haired girl. In days he was unable to, he either spent in secluded silence or was distracted days. Love is a curious thing. It has the power to change those who experience it. When he did manage to approach her, he tripped over his tongue. Again and again he talked to her, and again and again he stumbled. I imagine if you were to bad. take him to see a romance at the theater in his present state, he would cry just as much as little Nelly. Actually, let, let, let's let's um, pause for here. All right. Yeah. That's what, that's what you want to do in the first place. All right, I'll just, I'll just, I'm not going to save. Yeah, yeah. yeah just press no. Press right. configure, turn title. Cool. It's pretty good. I'm pretty interested to see what's yeah. going to happen. So, yeah, so what do you think about it so far? Uh, it's interesting. Yeah. The side off screen is making me think a little bit more. What is it making you think? Because no, now anything. you can act. I, I know, I know. Yeah. But now, here's what I'm going to say. Now you see so, the two yeah. characters. Well, so you got the maid who's like kind of like holding uh, her close. So it's like it kind of showing that she she has control over her. 
Um, and this is probably Mel who's like reaching for, her. and like I think this like internal like X-ray thing here. Maybe it's just an expression of his like his need to ha to be with her again, like being like to his core. Or it could be like maybe he's being affected by some 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 sort of new thing. Maybe he's a vampire. Maybe he's a vampire because he's, so, he's so all colored in red. <clears throat> yeah. So so far, what do you think? <clears throat> like. Because I know you just started, but what do you think, like, the intentions of all, the, like, the different characters are right now from the very limited information you have? Um, I would say, like, obviously the maid is, like, some sort of enigmatic character force in the story. Um, like, the implication that the mansion has some sort of thing going on with it is very true. Um, but it's not, it just, it's not totally coming into play just yet. Um, yeah, the white-haired girl is. Uh, I don't know exactly what to make of her, other than that they're going to they're going to find a romance for sure. Yeah. Um, her and Mel, and then the maid is gonna like kind of come in there at some point or something like that, or maybe like she her she like has a mission from somewhere else. Where she's like trying to end, like kill that family line off, but then she actually finds love through Mel, and then the maid like steps in to try to correct it. So, do you think the maid's like sinister, or do you think she's good, or do you think she's like neutral, like maybe a neutral force, like a I force of nature? I think she's like, uh, I think the maid. Oh, the maid. Yeah. Um, I think she could be sinister. Yeah. Or she. She's like an aspect. She's like a, the embodied personage of the, the mansion itself. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Who do you think she? You are. Uh, I think I'm Mel right now. Yeah. Um, I think you're Mel. But it could be. It could be that. It could, so we're following Mel a lot, basically. Like he's kind of the protagonist yeah. right now. Yeah. Almost. But it could. It could be her though. Who? Uh, the white-haired girl. The white hair girl? I, I'm more inclined to say it's Mel, though, just because of the fact that it's like... You're following him more? Yeah, well, not only that, but it's like the house is owned by that by his family. So Yeah, by the roads. Yeah, but also there's like there was like a weird implication during that dinner that like, oh, they don't they don't know what happened. Everyone is blissfully unaware of something. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so they kind of hinted at something kind of happening in the background that is affecting this this piece of this nobles of this noble lifestyle quote unquote yeah. this rich lifestyle and the, and the maid mentioned how there is like a witch in the mansion yeah what, do you, what, what, what do you make of that she is the you, you witch think, she, is the, she witch. is the witch yeah and if she is the witch that implies it's just she has some sort of ability to do something right yeah she's probably yeah. taking life from people somehow like she maybe, so? and I'm thinking maybe it's gonna like maybe maybe it's gonna happen like the maid is using the white-haired girl to, like, kill the family or something like that, and then she's going to... I don't know. Maybe, like, maybe it's, like, the maid is using the girl, the the, the younger girl, to, like, seduce one of them. Who? Like, maybe... Uh, the white-haired girl? Like, no, like, the father. Yeah, the white-haired girl. Um, To, like, get the father in with the maid so that she could live longer as a vampire or whatever she is, or a witch or whatever. Oh, you think that the maid is like a succubus? Maybe. Or, well, not so much like a succubus, but just like a witch, like a, a sorcerer is of some sort. Or, or yeah. she could be just be, like I said, like a a personage of the mansion itself. And then the white-haired girl. Yeah. Uh, I still don't know what to make of her other than that she's for sure a vampire. There's no, <laughs> there is no doubt in my mind that she's what, not what? a vampire. Red ruby eyes, white porcelain looking skin, white hair. And blah, sensitivity blah, blah. to sunlight. Yeah, like, to sunlight. Like, there's no it way. Has nail, nail and coffin. Yeah, dude. I remember. Um, I feel like this title screen is like made to. I feel like it implies a lot of different things. Like some people may assume like the maid and the white hair girl are in like a relationship or something, and someone's trying to take it away. No, I think I think it's. I but think then again, if you look at if you, in if, control of her, because her expression on her face isn't one of like, it's one of like, I'm trying to break away from this. So like, yeah. like, like what's called, like, she doesn't have a pleased expression, expression on her face. The yeah. maid though has like, has like this very like, like a, calm, a strange, collected, yeah. like 
like I'm in control like face, but like with, yeah. with, with like a beauty to it that like throws you off. Yeah. So it just makes it seem like oh she's just being normal, but obviously the situation yeah. is anything but normal. You have this blood 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 strewn sort of tapestry where I think what I think to be Mel is like grasping onto it. It looks like a guy's hand, but it could be it could be that um that's that's her as well. Like it could be like that's her and she's just looking back at the memories the maid is showing. There's like some weird yeah. there's some weird time stuff going on here and this it's it ha it it has to be it could be that it's um it could be that's going through kind of going through her because obviously she's a vampire and then yeah. I don't know maybe she turned Mel into a vampire through this romance that's sort of developing and so the actual master of the house which is him since the father's going to die what I think to be by the maid's hand is going to be wrapped into it as the master of the house and so the master of the house is like attached to the house you know what I mean like spiritually yeah. I guess so um, and the maid is just like an eternal being that uses other, the, like the lives of others to keep her own life going yeah um, or the, the mansion's life going at least like she's like an embodiment of the mansion's like will to continue to exist yeah. and so he's just being strung along and because he's immortal due to the romance that him and the white haired girls romance developed into he he's he's forced to witness his past again yeah as you can probably already tell there's a lot a lot of subtext in this novel yeah like and a lot of it's kind of like possibly there's a ton of subtext yeah and a lot of it's kind of like on the nose a little bit it can either it can either be super obvious or really subtle and i'm just now noticing it Interesting. honestly yeah like right. there's literally literally so much foreshadowing i'm not going to talk about what any of the foreshadowing is but just from what we've you've read tonight there's so much foreshadowing it's actually crazy how much they planned the story all right and i didn't realize that the first time i will be but, i there's multiple endings right uh yeah there's many endings all right i'll have to um, uh, there's like there's like um eight um endings that are like like eight extended endings i guess like and then there's like a bunch like like 10 um like ending endings. yeah 10 minor endings yeah but they're, they're like basic like bad ends or whatever yeah basically okay yeah, yeah. this is cool uh, i'm glad yeah. uh, you recommended this to me this is a pretty cool it's so, it's so good the story is so good i like i like the way this dude i don't know if it's just one person i like the way it's written I like the art a lot. The music is very unique. The art yeah. style and presentation is very unique. Um, yeah. And I'm interested in the story for sure. Yeah. Um, one last thing. And that whole conversation about characters, you never once mentioned anything about Nelly, despite her having a bunch of screen time. Well, it's because, uh, well, Nelly is like a very kind of obvious character, and she will come to play later for sure. Like, in obviously, what way do you think? well, it's like, um, Mel's romance is gonna blossom with with the white haired girl for sure, um, and I think her purpose that she's been assigned might be interrupted by the maid. Maybe I don't know. But, yeah. Um, when it comes to Nelly, I think Nelly is gonna notice and just get jealous that they're going to have that developed relationship, and then that's gonna just cause conflict in the family, which the maid may like try to foster on purpose. And what do you think the, like, Nelly, what, what, like, because Nelly obviously keeps saying, like, Mel's his prince, or her prince and stuff, and she doesn't like other guys, because she's always talking about that. Yeah. And she doesn't like any of the maids, obviously, because she's just, like, getting angry, angry at them. Why do you, why do you have any, why do you think that is? Uh, I don't do you know. Think, or, do you, or do you think that's even important? Well, I think it's just, like, like, the, for, we don't really know. Like there was kind of an implication that like the, like the situation of the family isn't like really as typical as you may it may seem. Like yeah. maybe they're like like clones or something like that. I like I don't know. Like maybe like they were like they're like just two people from the same like gene or something like that. I don't know. Like twins or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it could be that they're not actually like blood related or something like that. Or it could just be yeah. like. Um, I don't know. It could just be like. Uh, what if Nelly knows that she's not blood related and actually is just attracted to Mel? 
I mean, I wouldn't know. Um, I, I guess it's just like we, we'll have to find out. Yeah. Are you, spo- are you spoiling it for me? And then I, I'm literally just spitballing. Okay. Anything I say, take it with a grain of salt. All right. Uh. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah, that could be a possibility for sure. Like, and I was kind of thinking about that. Maybe like that was a possibility. But like, she is kind of acting in some ways how a sister would. You know, being like super yeah. overprotective of, of the. But she, but of, she's acting like an older sister. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe that's just, or maybe that's because Mel's such a wet towel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, Nelly. Yeah, uh, she may evolve as a character, but I think she will end up being. There's definitely going to be a tr- more tragedy coming up, but like I think Nelly is going to be maybe she like maybe when their love develops like like in the marriage or something like that or even into just like a complete romance like maybe she like kills herself or something crazy like that and that just affects everything even even harder. Um, yeah, uh, maybe. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know, but I'm I'm interested to see how it turns out. Or maybe I don't, I just don't, I just don't know. We'll just see. So um, also. The mansion was obviously in a much more decrepit state in the beginning. Yeah, well, I think, like, maybe, like, so, like, with the maid just still being there, like, maybe Mel or whoever the, the individual is, it's, it's got to be either Mel or, like, the white-haired girl or something like that. Well, it's got to be Mel because it, you say it's Master, you know, Master. Well, the thing is, it says, hey, the, the U isn't identified here. It's your with a capital Y, you know. Yeah, so it and could be you, either one of them. Or... And they're the only ones I know to be immortal, if not the maid herself. So I'm guessing what's happening is he's just the, still he's still the living master of the mansion just because he's immortal due to, due to becoming a vampire. Yeah. And so because of that, maybe he like, maybe it's like, maybe in this one it's like, because you know, the, in, with some legends of vampires, it's like they, re, they re, the resurrect or whatever, like they like re-enter into the mortal world or whatever. Yeah. So maybe that's just what's happening with Mel. And then the mansion is just like at, in that moment in the beginning, that's like the modern day. And yeah. and the the mansion is decrepit just like just like the grandfather of his, like his grandfather left it back then, you know. Yeah. Maybe it's just gotten gotten to that point and in this time period and then we're just retelling what happened with his life um beforehand when it came to the mansion. Yeah. The maid also said that she was waiting for someone. And seems like she might think that person is us at the beginning. Yeah. Well, yeah. she calls you master outright, so. Yeah, outright. It's clearly some recognition there. And clearly like, oh, you don't remember me? Like, type of thing. Yeah. Do you think she's, like, trying to mess with you? Or do you think she's, like, maybe something else? Uh, She could be... Like maybe she's trying to torment you, like remember me, you know, I ruined your life or something like that. Or it could be, it could be a sinister like look at look at how I look at how I destroyed your everything, you know. Or it could be like, like you're back and this is and I'm informing you of the reality. But I don't know. She the fact she's like laughing so much and being like kind of like cantilever about it, even though that she's like like there's obviously like some bad shit, like bad stuff that's gonna be happening. (laughs) Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty clear that she probably is sinister or something like that. Yeah, she obviously has some sort of disconnect from kind of what's happening. Yeah, but at the same time, she's a viewer of everything that's happening. You know. Yeah, like I said, I think she's probably like she could be a witch, and she's yeah. like a part attached to the mansion somehow, or she's like she is the she's like the personification of the mansion. So yeah. I don't know. That's, that, those are my thoughts. And she always wants you to hold her hand. Strange. Yeah, true. Well, yeah. I don't know. I, I just thought of that as like a functional thing. Like, oh, if you like go my hand, you, you'll, you'll be lost in the memory type of thing. But I don't know. It could mean it could be mean more something yeah. more than meets the eye. And also, also one last thing. The fact that the um, when it went into Mel and Nelly's like um, story, like time period, like, you know, the beginning, right? Right when it started. Right. Um, it said door one, which implies there are multiple doors. Yeah, which, that's the thing. Yeah. So we could end up seeing, like, other families. Yeah. Either that or see possibly just different time periods of Mel's life, Nelly's life, whatever. I agree. Yeah. All, All right. right. Anyways. Yeah. yeah. The... I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. 
Yeah, it is pretty cool. I do like this uh, this VN, and I think it's pretty sick. Yeah. Um, the art's good. Like, everything's good about it. I'm pretty interested. Yeah, and it's one of the few VNs that has actually good prose and isn't just, like, the person just writing what's happening, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't know. I'm not a big VN reader anyway. Oh, why well, read Yumi Neko and Riki? She has terrible prose. Good plot. <laughs> good plot, good plot, terrible prose. There's literally, like, Japanese, like, um... Uh, what's it called? Copy pastas, mocking his prose. That's funny. Yeah, like they they like his stuff because he's a good writer. It's just he sucks at the at like They're like writing sound at, at sounding like a book, you know? Yeah, yeah. We're just like making it flow. Yeah. All right. I'm stop the right. recording. All right. Cool. Um. <sighs> um. You free tomorrow?